Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 284. Class 3 Antiarrhythmics. What are the Class 3 Antiarrhythmics? The Class 3 Antiarrhythmics are the potassium channel blockers. Name some of the potassium channel blockers. Some of the potassium channel blockers include amiodarone, ibutilide, dofetilide, and sodalol. What is the mnemonics to help you remember some of the class 3 antiarrhythmics? The mnemonics to help you remember this is AIDS, which stands for amiodarone, I is for ibutilide, D is for dofetilide, and S is for sodalol. What is the mechanism of action of the class 3 antiarrhythmics, the potassium channel blockers? The mechanism of action is to increase the action potential duration, as you can see here in the picture, as well as increase the effective refractory period. These group of drugs are used when all other antiarrhythmics fail. These drugs can also increase the QT interval, which means the chances of getting tersot to the point also increases. What are some of the side effects and toxicities that can happen when using the drug Sotolol? Some of the side effects and toxicities that can happen when using the drug Sotolol is tersot to the point, and it can also cause excessive beta blockage because Sotolol is also a beta blocker. What is a side effect and toxicity that can happen when using the drug Ibutilide? Ibutilide usage can also lead to tersod's to point, and this is again because of the same reason, because this drug causes an increase in the QT interval. What are some of the side effects and toxicities that can happen when using the drug amiodarone? Some of the side effects and toxicities that can happen with amiodarone includes pulmonary fibrosis, hepatotoxicity, hypothyroidism, or hyperthyroidism, and the reason for this is amiodarone is 40% iodine by weight. It can also lead to corneal deposits. Skin deposits, which can have blue or gray coloring, it can also result in photodermatitis, neurological effects, constipation, cardiovascular effects such as bradycardia, heart block, or even congestive heart failure. Why does amiodarone have class 1, 2, 3, and 4 antiarrhythmic effects? The reason for this is that amiodarone can alter the lipid membrane. What are all the lab values that needs to be followed when using amiodarone? When using amiodarone, you have to remember to check the pulmonary function test, liver function test, and the thyroid function test. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.